Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking, and tonight we go on this uh, fantastic experiment with a cashier. And uh, tonight I've made a very small cashier, a mini cashier. I mean, and trying to pump the energy of the outside. Mm -hmm. But first of all, I go on the Lens Dragon circuits he offered us some time ago. I simply modify somehow the circuits with, I put here a wireable capacitor between the exit of the secondary to the ground or antenna. Mm -hmm. Then on the outside here we have the spark gap here and Dragon proposed to make a transformer here. It works very well, I tried it, but for tonight I will simply short to be simpler. Okay. What is very important is, you see here, as I have showed on the last video, between the entry of the secondary and the output of the secondary, we have different wave. So at the entry we have a positive and then a negative, and in the outside it is a negative and then the positive. So far you have tuned it correctly with this viable capacitor. So I think there is probably a pumping effect here between the two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you go to the proposal for tonight. Okay, the small cacher is very small because I have seen that Delamorto has a very small cacher and it works very well. So I make a smaller one to test. Okay, in the middle here I have put a caduceus coil as primary, but everything works. Tesla, uh, pancake, everything. But this one seems to be uh, very effect, uh, efficient. Okay, 24 volts. All with my circuits here. The variable cap at the exit to a ground, a ground here, or an antenna, or everything you want. Then from the base here, we go to the cap thread of the uh, microwave oven cap. And then a Ramenko plug here, back to the antenna or the ground. And then the to outside of the uh, cap to a lamp here and here to the small crocodile grip with a small wire so I can touch everything here to show you what happened because as I have seen today as Mr. Mr. Clean in uh, Don Smith he gets very strong sparks everywhere here in his step down uh, video and I wanted to test and I measure and I got also very uh, quite interesting amperage on the outside here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go now. We go now to the machine. You see my small cashier here with a caduceus or with a circuit or the same as for all my cashier. Okay, the amp draw for the input, the 24 volts here. Very important, my variable capacitor, I can tune very precisely. In the cache I can put a fire core here, you will see. And outside is the lamp here with small wire I will touch everywhere here to show what happened. Okay, now let's go. Now first of all, we will put the power on. What we see on the scope we have a complete uh, phase shift of 180 degrees between the entry and the uh, out, uh, outside of the uh, secondary of the cache because I've put the scope on the entry it is on the base and the other one on the output of the cache okay now we have here about 300 milliamps M draw input. Okay. Well, now we will put the wire here on the lamp. Nothing happened because the cacher is not tuned. Now I will tune on the cacher. Put on, on. Yes, good. I put out. Put inside. Yes, now maximum. Very good. Now I will tune with the variable cap. 
if I can better, oh, no, not better, very important, yeah, now it's good, oh, nice, very nice, okay, you see it is very important to tune all this, and on the scope we have always this 180 degree phase shift, mm -hmm. very important, and now, what happened, when I put the lamp out, 300, 300 uh, milliamps M draw. Now I put the lamp on, up, no change. Put the lamp up, no change. On, no change. Oh, but the lamp is there and quite good. And now what Mr. Macklin impressed me today. He makes like this, he makes some friction around the crocodile here. Let's see this. It is incredible. Hey, and, and, and glued in here. It is sewing. <laughs> it is welding. Incredible. Here's the lamp. Here the sparking. Very impressive, isn't it? And he's welding the, my small wire. And by doing this, it doesn't change the end row. Look at this. You hear the glitter. And almost no change. <clears throat> yeah. What is this electricity? It is blue, it is... It is sparkling. Hmm... <laughs> oh, by Epco says a spark gap. I think it is very interesting. And now, as you can see, we have here on the amp meter of the output almost nothing now. I put the amp on and we have about two and half amps and I can say to you if I put on this cable here I can put I can have more amps but is it real amps I'm not, not sure we try to make sparking now you see it can go to three amps and sometimes much more four hmm is it real amps Okay, always more interesting and interesting. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Thanks to all contributors for all to share or uh, to give me good idea. You are all inspiring. And thanks for watching and good night at all.